Okay, are we ready to record? Yeah. All right. Check it out. Oh, there goes the... It's always some problem. Is it working? Okay. What's up, YouTube? Hi. All right. Welcome to 720 KDWN. It's Saturday night, and we just love you to death. Thanks for listening to the radio. But guess what? If you're going inside the house, you can actually go to www.kdwn.com. Uh, K- How That's cool right. is that, right? I know. It's so easy. Wow. Right. You can do it on your phone, by the way. I, I heard our show on the phone, on my phone. Okay, see, now everybody's been asking me. I'm like, right. actually, I need to figure that out. We finally got it, because people have been asking me as well, and one of them said, um, a mutual friend we know, said, who listens to the radio? And I said, well, I do. I, I listen to I have a ton of friends that listen to the radio. Me too. I, I, Especially AM stations. That's another sabotage. Because they're more informative. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I'm telling you. So you know who I'm talking about. Okay, so yes. So here we are. We are going to do a show today about, well, lots of things, really. Like, yeah. basically random It's a talk. really random show, but yeah. we have, because we have so much on our minds. Right. But first of all, we have to introduce ourselves yes. for people that haven't heard well, us before. Who are you? Um, well, I'm going to introduce you. This is oh, Lauren okay. Jennifer Gates <laughs> to my left. She is a former Playboy model. She is an author of... <laughs> an author. I love you. Photography. Yes. Incredible. LJG photography. And what's the story behind that? Uh, Hugh Hefner told me to publish my uh, foot photo album. I brought it to him while he was being filmed. I think with that's a, the coolest story in the You know me, plan. right? Like, I ran up to him while he was being Yo, filmed. I know. And I was like, Hugh, look at my book. I, it's a photo album. He goes, you need to publish that within seconds. I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh, I should have called him, like, the next day. It's craziness. <laughs> so get it at ljgphotography.com. Thank yes. you for that intro. You're that's welcome. Awesome. You are fantastic. Thank you. I've been here in Vegas for 20 years, so I know a lot of stuff that's going on here. But guess what? I am, and you all know how excited I am to have my co-host, Callie Tucker from The Voice oh Season 6, oh Blake's Pick, because somebody, they must have been, like, sleeping, those people, because when I was on a date, I heard this girl sing, and I yeah. left my date to see who she was, so... Callie, yes. Callie Tucker. Hello. Love you. Love you. Vegas Locals <laughs> for since October 1st, 2014. Oh. And I haven't skipped a beat. I love it. I love That's this place. awesome. Vegas I rocks. do too. We love you, everybody listening. Thank you. This show is called I Hate Him, But I Date Him. Yeah. We don't hate anybody. We love everybody. Uh, yes, we do. But it's about except, relationships. Except right now. <laughs> except right now when we're about to talk about people that we don't like. So... <laughs> Anyways. Oh, they don't have anyone they don't like. But if they want to write us Hopefully in, they where, like can us. They write, where can they write if they have any comments or suggestions Seriously, about topics? If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, I don't care. Concerns. I'm Whatever. concerned. Or I hate when people say that. I'm Compliment. concerned. I'm, I'm concerned about you. Okay. Now, you know what? Don't write your concerns because we actually don't care about them. Right. We don't care about we concerns. Don't care about we what want you suggestions think. for topics. Yes. And we want to hear your stories. So go to Callie, uh, right at CallieTuckerOfficial at gmail.com. And uh, oh, C A L I. C A L I. If you write anything crude, rude, we'll probably post it on air and I'm going to name your and name. And they're going to love it. And we'll name your name. <laughs> and we'll show pictures of what pictures yes. you sent. No penis pictures, Thank please. Thank you. Ugh, penis pictures. I'm a, uh, yeah. All right, so guess what? This week um, was my daughter's birthday, mm-hmm. and she's 11. I named a business after her, Jadakins, which she's is the sponsor of the show. Yes. Jadakins, J-A-D-E-A-K-I-N-S, for babies and puppies. If you forget to wear your condoms, you can get a swaddle blanket and Tiny Tucker. <laughs> she's laughing. And jadakins.com or tinytucker.com. They're really super cute, you guys. Got to check super it out. Cute. It makes a great gift for a baby shower. Oh, Love her. It's, it's awesome. You're good. I'm going to have to hire you. <laughs> Well, Speaking of hiring you, I'm pretty expensive. Very expensive, okay? <laughs> Very. But guess what? That's good. No cheap dates. I'm a cheap date because I don't drink. But do you neither. Need... I don't either. Oh, we're cheap dates. Just but but I we did, did, But however, I'm a foodie. I'm. Look at me. Do you think like I'm not, not a foodie? <laughs> I'm we're totally foodies. Foodie. So if you want to take us out, first of all, if you want to take us out on a date, we should do a sponsor double date. the show. We Just, are. If you like us and want to take us out on a date, sponsor the show. Yes. We'll go out. We'll give you the best time. I like that. That sounds weird. We. <laughs> We're going to show you know a really this. good time. No. 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 <laughs> None of that. Thank you for being. Joni Donato. <laughs> for people that are listening, we're sorry. We yes. apologize. This is case. why I got in trouble in, in school. I was always I got so, pulling I got around. So, people don't think I got in trouble in school, but I got a, I got a lot did? of trouble. Yeah. Oh, I bet you were a little snappy. No, I wasn't snappy. I was, um, I was intolerable. Really? Yes. Of I'm other people's. Oh, of other you people. You know, I was uh, very vengeful. Mm, sounds terrible. I'm not that way anymore. <laughs> They're all like, click. <laughs> no. She's gorgeous, 
an amazing, an amazing talent. She's at T-Bones Steakhouse Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That's right. And Friday at Hanks. And where else are you? You're, you're uh, you know what? I'm, I kind of rotate on the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday thing, mm -hmm. but I just actually quit the link because I figured... My voice was just getting so tired. Mm. I, I just couldn't sing that much. Well, you're doing six, seven nights a week. Yeah, That's for two crazy. years, two years since I moved here, I was literally doing almost seven nights a week. By the way, when is your birthday? <sighs> March eighth. March 8th? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... It oh, that's right. I was at your birthday. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> okay, by the way, I'm going for an MRI, seriously, because the doctor was explaining my brain. She goes, you know how you have a wire with coating on it, and you go like this? Eventually, like, it, where she said that's what they tested me last year. That's what's going on in my brain. So I'm probably going to ask you the same questions all the time. So oh. keep me on the show as long as we can stay here, uh, KDWN, because I may be forgetting things and asking things. Yeah, at least we're time. recording it so you can <laughs> Thank listen God. back to it. And I'll go, we did a show? So, God. birthdays, so yeah, it was my little Nuggie's birthday, and you know what, um, so on the day of Jade's birthday, it was June 7th, was also Prince's birthday. Uh-uh. Yeah. Bless his heart. Yep. Talented guy, yep. You Picture know what, gear. I never got into his music, only because I wasn't really allowed to. How come? Growing up, it was country and oldies, that's all okay. I was allowed to listen allowed to. Allowed to? Interesting. Yes, yes. My mom was very, I was very sheltered as, as a child, and yeah, oh. she did that just because she just wanted to keep me protected and innocent, uh -huh. but, you know, I guess it's one of those things where, you know, Prince maybe was a little risque <laughs> yeah. in a lot of his stuff, maybe music, the music videos. I loved I his know. music so I was, much. Purple Rain, I, I saw that movie. I'm not oh. going to deny that now Purple I think his music's Rain. fantastic. Oh, but. It's amazing. But Richard Gere, Cameron Diaz, uh, Demi Lovato, Matthew Perry, Christian Slater from True Romance. Oh my God, he is my Robert favorite. Oh my God. Love him. Love no, him. forget True Romance. Unbreakable True Romance Heart. Romance was awesome. I didn't see that. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's Unbreakable Heart. Oh Sorry, guys. Sorry. Marissa They're like. Tomei and him. Oh. I want to die every yeah. time. He's my ideal guy. Oh, oh my gosh. okay. He's awesome, isn't he? I love him. I did see True Romance, though, and I was addicted. Went out and got Such it. Such a beautiful Robert De Niro. Person. And. Um, De Niro. So let me ask you about birthdays. So I'm a Leo. What are you? Pisces. Pisces? Great sign. Oh, my um, gosh. By the way, if anybody out there reads signs and, yeah. like, that's what they do, Ooh. please let us know. I've yeah. always wanted to... Astrology? To, astrology. I yes. always want to know, like, what my sign is, who yeah. I'm, whom I'm compabitable with, who I'm not compatible. We're I not compatible. So. Probably not. What no. if they told us we're not compatible? We'll be like, you're full of crap. Yeah. I was going to say the other word, but I can't. So, yeah, let's talk about, like, like birthdays, okay? So we have some birthdays of some famous people, and why don't we talk about, like, like um, what does your, it mean... Like your birthday, like is it disappointing when you when you okay? For instance, okay, I know what you're getting at. Yeah, well, yeah. every year I get disappointed because I just feel like this year I'm not. This year, by the way, I'm going to tell everybody right now, T Bone Steakhouse, my party I incorporated to my girly girl. Yeah, she's performing on July 29th. My birthday's the 28th. On Facebook, it says 26, so that people aren't late. <laughs> Ah, swear to God, I did that because people hilarious. are always late. Always late. And it's very disappointing. It is. Oh, happy. Oh, your birthday was yesterday. So I yeah. tricked them. So people that are on Facebook, Lauren, Jennifer with one N Gates, or Joni Donato, or Callie Tucker, um, yeah, they might get different birthdays. But I'm having my birthday at T Bones, July 29th, 6 p.m., because. Callie Tucker is performing. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, how cool is that? So, so on so my cool. invites, hopefully you got one, it has her picture of her CD, and it's super cool. I sent one to you, but I send her so many texts, and she doesn't read them anyway. She says, I totally she do. Oh, did you, did you see the invite? No. See? <laughs> it's a Hawaiian theme. I love will a luau. Hawaiian, Are you, you kidding me? Well? Absolutely. Will you, if I I'm give you wear, a lay, will you I'm wear I'm going to lay you, and you <laughs> can lay me. <laughs> By the way, my lay is this color that I just got yesterday. Oh, perfect. She's going to lay me. I love it. Lay Me Down. That's one of my songs on my uh, CD. Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. What is the best and worst birthday gift? Or gift in general. I don't care if it's Christmas, but whatever. I was going to ask you that. Now I'm stumped. No gift is the, be is the worst gift. No gift. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm not a I girl. I don't know, because I'm then not... you don't have an expectation. Like... Yeah. I don't. Here's if you're dating someone, you better get a gift on your on your birthday. Come on, just like you would give them. Oh, a I gift. get so nervous. When people give me gifts because I go. What if I'm I not hate a gift it? person. I'm not either. I got you flowers. I got. I get she my got girlfriend's me flowers. Oh, I got. I got you, you a cake. Yeah, I remember for my birthday. I told you my brain is scratching got, off. Oh, I got you a cake on the show. Yeah. Okay, but when I went to see you, I got you the tally. Yes, okay. and you got me the the Probably beautiful little Probably classier than any other guy got got you. You better have kept no them, guy gave kept, me anything. She keeps, when people give her flowers, she keeps them there, and I take them home. No, I can't. I took them home. 
Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just busting balls, but... Okay, I was like, Is that okay, is that okay to home. say? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, before we go on, I just have to say, our sponsors are very important. Without sponsors, we couldn't do the show. So, if you'd like to sponsor the show, you can call 702-982-8688. That's Lauren Jennifer Gates, voicemail only. Or, write to Callie Tucker Official at gmail.com. Uh, Peter James is our um, sponsor today. Love Peter James. Thank you, Peter James. But guess what? Peter James is so, so great because I actually used him for real. And that's why I, uh, by the way, you can give us thousands of dollars, but if we don't like your service product or business, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to sponsor you. So I used Peter James and he's amazing. PeterJamesLaw.com. And you know what? Firestone right next door to uh, Beasley Media Group over here on Sahara, I mean Durango, is is sponsoring the show. Oh, wonderful. They said 10% off if you mention the LJG show. Hello. Yep. And I got a free tire, so I'm going to tell you something. You might want to get a free tire. Well, yeah. You need one. Go over yeah, there and tell them. You gave Lauren one. Guarantee will give you one. Okay? okay, cool. Whatever she gets, I get. Um, and the nail salon over there, um, Nail Envy. Yep. All right? Which we are going to do a Facebook Live yes. video over there yes. soon. Check out these nails. Look, show Damn, your nails. These look. are like Christmassy. Like, I love those. Oh, no, they're not. Sea, they're seafoam like, green. Seafoam green. Yeah, they look prettier on the thing so best and worst gift i i can't even think honestly like okay my love languages i took that test mine is not about gifts it's acts of kindness mm -hmm. so i'm not a gift person but i have gotten some beautiful beautiful birthday gifts and normally they include like diamonds and <laughs> rings and stuff like that Got it. how about you uh best gift honestly i can remember was a party that my mom mm. threw for me when I was 14. Oh my god, that's so cute. You know how like did they do like Kinzinetta and, yeah. and like Sweet 16? Mine yeah. was just sweet. I'm actually half Spanish, half Irish, but I never had one of those either. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell well, you my Well, I haven't story. had one since, but <laughs> okay. it was awesome. Since I was you were totally no, surprised. I was 14 years old. Had no idea. My mom and oh my, my whole god. family went to the 10th degree to make this the most that's amazing sweet. surprise for me. So I remember that being like I you know what? The best this. surprise is when people actually just show up. Mm -hmm. I have a, I'm, I have a problem with that now that you're that I'm older. I think mm -hmm. people just, you know, it's another day. I get it. When you're mm -hmm. when you're in your 30s and you know no. late 20s, I feel like <laughs> no. But seriously, uh, I it's, don't feel like that. I think nobody I think, ever wants to show up. Okay, so that would they be better show gift. up. You know what I said today to um, my neighbor had a great point about birthday shoes because I said give me some ideas for today's uh, today's show, and she said that. Um, it's very dis. It's it's a people expect a lot and then they get disappointed. So yeah. it could go either way. But I think birthdays are a big deal, and I'm going to tell you why. I think they are. Get too. your tissues out. When I was a child, okay, so I was basically left on a doorstep at like five into this like horrific foster home from the parents. The kids were great, um, and I'm going to be seeing them in New Jersey next month. This month, nice. and uh, they never had a birthday party, ever, and uh, so I never had a birthday party till I was. Um, even when I was adopted at 12, until like, I think it was like 23 years old that I had my first birthday party. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? So, to me, it's a big deal. I make a big deal. My daughter's having a bomb party this week. Coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure? Yeah. Awesome. She's excited. She asked me if you were coming. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, so if I tell her you're coming, you have to come. I'm coming. All right. So, my daughter's mm -hmm. birthday parties end up being great. There's like 20 people coming. They end up always being great because I make a big deal out, out of it. Yeah. So, not, I'm not living vicariously through her, but I, I want to have her experience oh, something you want, different yeah you don't want her to have right. the same experience you did exactly up. exactly uh -oh. so what else what else about birthdays i mean birthdays birthdays are a tough tough thing i mean i kind of was all set to talk about birthdays but i kind of got a little upset today because i was at a, a friend's house and like they were telling me like your skin looks dry and your makeup looks like a clown and i was just like what the like yeah, i think that is the most unbelievably rude Thing. Yeah, and I don't Let me think tell she you. means to hurt. I mean, what I don't does that give mean? A, a you know what? What because does that mean when someone like okay? Let me. Because, you know what they? You know what it means? No, it means that they I'm think that water. they think so much of themselves, and their opinion is so highly regarded within themselves that they feel Ooh. like it is their duty to let you know mm. what they think. Mm. You know, be, really? you know. Well, I don't. I, I don't think they're trying to help. I don't think they're no, trying I don't to... Th when someone says, you have so much makeup, I don't like your makeup, it looks like a clown. Look at her makeup. Okay, well, first of all, to me, it's it might blue. look... It it's might gorgeous. look gorgeous. Well, you know what I said? I said my daughter picked it out, and she did. My daughter picked it out. You know what? You don't know her an explanation. You don't know her nothing. Well, that's I just want so her to know, like, because my daughter's going to be there later, and they got her gifts. See, that's what I'm saying. They got her gifts, her and her mom, and yeah, so it's like, I got these people that they're so nice, but then they say these things that are... Unsolicited... Um, advice mm -hmm. or comments or I yeah. do not call that constructive criticism. Right. I do not. Worse than that, 
is, and I want to say this happened prior. So about a week ago, my, my adopted mom and I, like, reconnected again on Facebook. She hasn't met Jade yet, okay? She hasn't met Jade. Mm-hmm. So we reconnect on Facebook, and, I, and, and she was really, like, guiding me and helping me with, like, the book and the show. And she was very good because she used to do a lot of big-time advertising for a cable company in New Jersey. And she ended up getting a great advertising job with HBO, like, got that account from from the cable thing so that's great so she knows her you know what her yeah. sh you know um but out of nowhere i get a a, a, a thing an email thing because she doesn't do phone that's fine and i'm being super supportive because she nearly died from copd from smoking so i'm like being super supportive she's been a, and out of nowhere she wrote i saw your um your facebook that we just came facebook friends again so that was rough we finally did everything i thought everything was cool and i told her i love your new attitude because she says I'm. She says that she's a you know what a B word. Okay, well, okay. That's the first part is admitting it. Right, and so I thought she was changed because I give people chance, and you said no second chances, and this is what happens when you do give second chances. So she writes, I saw your Facebook post. You look beautiful, but your hair looked, and she wrote, capital words, horrible. Right. Now, I don't see anybody else insulting anybody else. I don't see that. I only see it with me, and I'm wondering, is it something oh, no, that no, I'm no, doing? Oh, no, 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 that's not true. People insult really? me with this. They do? Yes. They say insults. Oh, my of, gosh. Instead of constructive, like, you know, I might like your hair. No, people that don't even know me come up to me and, and say, Oh, uh, you know, You know your hair, because it's gray, you look like you're 40. <gasps> Somebody said that to you. A total stranger. Do you want to go, boom? Like, just, punch them in the nose. I mean, we're on radio, so... Yeah. 720 KDWN, by the way. Saturday nights, 9.30. No, I just, LJG I just show. insult I them back. Them. What do you say? Well, your DIC oh, whatever, whatever is so small, I can't even see your bulge, dude. <laughs> or is it women? Jealous women? Oh, no. Well, no. Well, well, some of it was women, but some of it was men. You know? Okay, so check this out. Here's my Guess response. Guess what? I don't care what they think. Well, I... I you know what I my response Because I get more compliments was? than I get negative. There you go. Here's my response. So... This is good. This is really good. People are going to learn. So I wrote, you know something, Mom? I think you need to hold... This is my adoptive mom. You need to hold your tongue. See, I'm snapping back. Okay? I've you been have snapped, to. I snapped back at that mom. Oh, my God. Forget it. So I snapped back. I said, I think you need to hold your tongue. I said, there, there is a way to speak to people. First of all, it's unsolicited opinion. And it's just not right to tell people things like that. And ne I don't deal with negativity anymore. I just don't. Um, and what she wrote back was, I'm afraid that you always have a knee-jerk reaction to the truth and that you can't handle the truth. So I wrote back and said... I'm going to blow up this building. Okay. <laughs> you know am. what I wrote? But I didn't ask you. Yeah. I can handle the truth a million percent if I ask you. I'm going to handle the truth. But when you say negative comments, that's not about telling me the truth. It's about telling me your unsolicited negative opinion there at the end of the day when it comes to what you do with your life there is no truth as there you far go as I'm uh, there you go there is no truth it it's is your what, choice it is what you want right truth what is that right no she said i'm something. telling you the truth yeah your truth is del you're delusional if right. that's your truth yes like could you, you imagine telling us your hair looked horrible like why are you saying a, a negative thing to me? People Why? love to bring other people down. Well, you know what? I can't, the thing is, I love can't it. be around that. I can't. Sometimes you, you just run into it and you go, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Lord. Well, like today. And it is like a shock. Wasn't You're expecting like, that today. What? I walked out of there going, I'm not going back there. I love my neighbor. I love her. I do. But she's great with my kid and everything. And she's, but there's, a, how about this? You ready for this? Mm -mm. Another neighbor, another neighbor who I have been very close. I call her auntie. Basically, you know, went nuts the other day because she gave my daughter and I some, some leggings and I didn't try them on, I guess, in enough time. And she was calling and calling and calling. And, and I was doing a career day at my daughter's school mm -hmm. all day. My daughter was sick. I came home to see how my daughter was before I went back for the second half of career day. P first part of it was talking to all the kids. So I'm there all morning yeah by myself then i went home to to try to see if jade would come with me to the outside of the school where i had to do the car thing in the meantime i go home and and i said hi auntie and i'm not going to mention her name and she was like Ur. and i was like what's wrong she was like you don't exist you ungrateful bi and i'm sitting here going what 
Yeah, I swear to you, this is the truth. What kind of neighbors do I you have? I live in a great neighborhood, too. It's like a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. I know, I know. It's oh. like, I, I feel like there's some crazy stuff going on. In, I'm not I, saying I'm you normal. Know what? Here's my thing. But I don't thing. put people down. Just, I don't call them names. I, just I don't, don't even, like, talk to my neighbors. Well, she said you don't exist anymore. And I know I know it wasn't her talking. You know what I'm saying? It's not her talking. You get what I'm saying? Oh, uh, whatever. Out, like, it's not, that's not, she's got, her son died, and there's very sad things going on. But I I'm not care. okay with taking it out on me. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Very hurtful. And basically left me two four-minute voicemails. And the only reason I know that is because my phone... I would scare the crap out of her. No, I, I still if, love if her I, dearly. I would have ran up did, to her and got in her me. face and just oh, been like... Oh, no. I wouldn't. She'll I kill me. you kidding? She's a big girl. So it's just this past few weeks, it's like, I don't know what's you going on, thing. but I feel like, you know. You just ramrodded by everybody. Yeah. Negative, negative, negative. And then my roommate is negative. He's going through so much, and I understand, but every day I have to hear negative, negative, negative. So I it's can't. just like. I cannot yeah. be around people that complain. I, I told him, I can't be around you. I can't. I, I, when I go home, he comes right to my door, and I, I close my door, and I, I say, I can't. I cannot talk to you anymore. This is what I'm living with right now. So I've got the neighbors, my adopted mom, like God. everyone. Yeah, because there's a lot going. I understand there's a lot going on in other people's lives. And I swear I wish I could be there for them too. If I can do anything, I will. But but the brunt that I'm taking is just, I mean, You're why do you wear think yourself I'm... yourself down. Yeah. Well, uh, I already feel healthy. like... That's not healthy. That's not healthy. Not Even Dr. All. Phil would say that you surround yourself with toxic people. It is going to eat at eat you. you. Like well, why do you acid. think I'm going through what I'm going through, right? That's well, why. Well, you just need to cut everybody, put walls yes. up completely. Just build yes. a little little wall Cocoon. for you and Jade yeah. and happiness and only surround yourself with good people. Yes. And that's why I say no second chances because the first time it happens, it's only going to happen again and right. again and again. And, and that's again. exactly what did happen. I tried to give that person a gift, and then they flipped on me and took it wrong. And, yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy what I'm doing. By the way, you look fabulous. You're sweet. I mean that the most. I'll pay you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Shh. I love you. She's sweet. And I don't even feel like, like, I don't need compliments. That's the thing. I don't. But I don't like negative opinions. How many times, I know, but seriously, how many times you walk into the studio and I go, God, your makeup looks so great. I know. And you said it. I was like, I, I just... It's I just, just loved it. And I'm a, I'm a very, comp I'm always complimenting people. I feel like She couldn't pull people, the makeup off. That's why she's jealous and says, you look like a clown. Oh, uh, you think that's it. jealousy? Oh, yeah. Most of the time it is jealousy. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. I can't imagine saying something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I could never tell someone you look like a clown. If they said, do you like my makeup, right, then you can tell them. So anyway, yeah, so, so basically, I just at, so not cute. Ask. I love you. She's drawing me hearts. <laughs> so we're about to end the show, right? We got like a minute left. What do we got? What do you got there, Miss Tucker? Miss Tucker. Yes. By we the way, are. what's Mother Tucker? What is Mother Tucker? Yeah. Well, if you just think about it hard enough, <laughs> I think people will get it. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's her little company, right? Or is it a big company? It's a big company. Yeah. Yeah, Mother, Mother Tucker, Tucker is a music? C Corp. I could buy an right. airplane with it if I wanted to. Ooh, well, why don't you? And let's go flying around. It's too girl. expensive to store. Sorry, I got to drink I my don't water. Fly enough. JB so. said I can't drink water in the camera. I'm a, we're on camera here, by the way. Um, we we are going to post this on um, LJG LJG. So go to YouTube.com and we're going to post this. And they're already um, on YouTube. They're watching this. They're already on. <laughs> I'm talking to the radio people. Oh. <laughs> I'm Hi, losing YouTube my people. mind. Yes. The radio. Look, the radio people. Hi, everybody. Yeah, yep. check out You're the there. YouTube radio you people. <laughs> oh, my God. Love her. Or go to our Facebooks. Maybe we should, should we put this I on Facebook after Saturday? You yes. need a cracker? I'm a cracker head. Um, <laughs> cracker head. So, Facebook.com, Lauren Jennifer Gates. It's a public figure page. Like it. Go on to Callie Tucker, C-A-L-I-T-U-C-K-E-R, and check out our show i'll tag you in it and we yeah. can if you want to put this one if not we'll just keep it on youtube so but check it out we're creating a, a new channel um lauren jennifer gates is uh another one that we'd like to take everybody and go to ljg ljg so this is the way it's just callie and i in the show so anything else we got to say today besides buy my book ljg photography.com be sure to come see me over at Red Rock Casino and at uh, Green CD? Valley Ranch. Where's your CD? You need oh, to bring you know a CD what? I in. bring the CD in. Bring a CD Sorry. in and we'll show it, even though everything comes backwards. Yeah. <laughs> backwards. So, there you go. We love you so much. Thank you Thank for joining you us at 720 KDWN LJG Show. I hate him, but I date him with Lauren Jennifer Gates and... Callie Tucker. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bam.